What's good, Greg Gang? We're out here today. Can you guess where we're going? We're going deer hunting. Now, a lot of y'all have been saying, like, oh my gosh, is Kendall Gray a fake deer hunter? Does he just act like he's a deer hunter? Well, not really. There's two main reasons I've not been deer hunting much lately. The main reason is because, like, two weeks ago, I lost my rangefinder, and I didn't really want to go out hunting without a rangefinder, you know, like, not know where anything is. But then today, I was just like, hey, I'm going to go deer hunting, and I'm just going to shoot it if it gets close within 20 yards. And then whenever I went to get my hunting backpack, I found it. So like legit, I've been guessing 20 yards with my bow for like two weeks. The other reason I've not been deer hunting much is because I've been fishing. And the reasoning behind that is that I have till the end of January to deer hunt. However, I have less than a month to get my fishing in. Once it gets cold here in Kentucky, you can pretty well just kiss fishing goodbye. But that's okay because we still got plenty of hunting and plenty of trapping to do in the winter. And then again, I always get those people who ask, is Bucky even real or are you just faking this deer named Bucky? Well, for all you people who have conspiracy theories about Bucky, guys, I can't make up a deer that I got on video all last year. Bucky's not a deer that I made up this year. Bucky has been going on for like straight up over a year now and I got video proof to show it all the way from the day I shot him and all through last season where I've hunted him with the arrow sticking out of his back. That deer's a legend and a lot of you guys have even deemed it the most famous deer on the internet. In my words, I would deem it the smartest deer on the internet because he just shows up whenever I'm not hunting. Whenever I'm hunting, he's pretty good at evading me. However, whenever I'm just riding around like, you know, just wasting time, hey, there he comes. He just walks out and looks at me. What about that now? But besides that, we're getting fairly close to my hunting spot and we're going to go ahead and get a little quiet and get on in there. I've actually decided to hunt the stand where I first shot Bucky and I've even been putting some corn out there so we should have some kind of movement in here even if it's not Bucky. Now at this point I'm still trying to decide do I shoot a doe if I see one or just wait it out for Bucky and maybe kill a doe later in the season. Since Blue Tongue has really riddled our doe population I'm really not sure what I'm going to do just yet. Guys we're at the tree stand right now. Right over there if you can see it. Yeah that big yellow spot. That's my corn pile. Today I'm actually using my piece of fun bag right there. Y'all remember my old big bulky camo bag that I used to hunt with and I'd drop it like every other time I went hunting? Well, I've set it down and went for this smaller piece of fun bag. It's a whole lot more compact and well, let me just say, it's a whole lot easier to keep my hands on. So guys, let me give you the rundown. So what just happened is that a doe came out of the woods. I saw her and, you know, thought she may have been alone. But then I looked and Bucky was actually right behind her. Shut up, Lucky. Now, whenever I saw them, they were actually going away from here. And right now, they're actually way down there in the turnip field. Now, when I saw them, they were about 100 yards away from me and in thick. Okay, guys, it's about that time. We're heading down to the turnip field. See, guys, it's that clay sand stuff. It's really easy to be quiet on this kind of ground. So I'm gonna sneak down there, get down there, see what happens. Let's see if Bucky's down here in the field. He's not here. I'll see you tomorrow. The next day. Well, great gangsters, it is the next day. And I'm actually, well, you know, last night, that's pretty crazy, wasn't it? And uh, right now, I'm actually going to check the trail camera and, you know, see if anything's been here. Because we saw Bucky. He went to the turnip field last night. Today, we're going to check the trail camera that was on the corn. You know, maybe Bucky's been using it. I mean, he didn't act like he cared too much last night. However, that is what the trail camera's for. Now, as we walk up to the corn pile, there's a lot of the corn's gone from last night. So, what we do know is that something's ate it and we should have pictures of something. Today is actually the first day of October. And as many of y'all know, the month of October is actually breast cancer awareness month and i feel that as blessed as i am hashtag jesus i should you know contribute to that so what we're going to be doing here at kendall gray outdoors is we're actually going to be having a limited edition signature series which will be solely dedicated to breast cancer awareness month here's a picture of it here and not only are they to raise awareness i'm actually going to be donating a percentage of the proceeds to the abc foundation which is the american breast cancer foundation now, like i done said these shirts right here these are limited edition october only outside of october well, 
You can't buy them because they're not even going to be made except for October. But wait, there's more. I'm human, you know. I understand. You can really only wear a shirt maybe, you know, you can't wear it every day because you got to wash it, right? That's why I'm throwing in a free breast cancer awareness bracelet so that you can literally wear a bracelet every day. See these bracelets, guys? Do you see these right here? Do you see that bottom one right there? I don't know if you've been following my channel, but if you have, you've probably saw that in like every single video. That's because you can wear bracelets every single day. And whenever you head on over to kindlergrade1.com slash shop and buy one of these shirts to one, raise awareness, and two, part of the proceeds go to the foundation, you also get a free bracelet thrown in with the deal. But yeah, guys, if you'd like to buy one of the shirts, but you just want to finish the video, it's okay, guys. Stay, watch the video. I'll be sure to remind you at the end of the video. That way, well, you don't forget. But without further ado, let's check the trail camera. Here we go. We're just going to take a little selfie real quick. Yee yee. But anyways, here we go. Let's see what we got. We definitely got something because half the corn's gone. Oh, and I just remembered, not only did I set this to camera, but I also set it to video. So we're actually going to have videos of animals eating the corn. So yeah, here's the first thing we see. That, that uh, deer, not sure if it's a buck or a doe, but... So now we can actually confirm that this is a doe, and we've actually got a video of her right here. Yep, there she is, just sitting there chewing on that corn. Well, that's cool. That's high definition, too, for this camera. Same doe, not doing much. Same doe. Okay, okay, here we go, here we go. Got two deer in the situation. Let's see the video, see if maybe that other one may be a buck. Okay, well, it seems like that other one, it's just another doe, but... Hey, two does is still better than one doe, any day of the week. It's still cool just sitting here watching these does go at it, I mean... Even though they're does, this is still this is still cool getting videos of them. Oh, bro, I got 819 pictures. Okay, guys, well here's the deal. Like y'all just saw, I have 819 pictures. I'm gonna go through them, and if I see anything stinking awesome, I'll show y'all. But for now, I'm gonna save my battery in. Well, guys, that's a lot of pictures. I'll see you whenever I get through them. Okay, so here's our first picture where we actually got more than those two. We've actually got three does there, and hey. We're building up. Maybe next we'll have four. Okay, guys, we're making gains. Now we got a total of actually five deer. You got one, two, three, four, five right there. Five deer in one picture? Now, yeah, they are all does, but hey, guys, five deer? That's a lot of deer no matter what they are. Now, guys, right here, I'm just trying to save y'all some time. All the pictures you saw, that pretty much sums up the 800 pictures. It was truly 800 pictures of does chewing on corn. But anyways, the turnip field, that's the turnip field, and this is actually the trail that he came on and walked out of. Now, my tree stand, it's way up there, but Bucky was coming around this side right here, coming around, then he got on this road, walked right down here, down there, and then started eating in the turnip field. And because I know what's eating at the corn pile, which is like a few, like five does, and I know where Bucky is. I mean, Bucky's over here. So, I mean, I want to focus on Bucky, so I'm changing the trail camera position. I'm even going to set the trail camera on this conveniently placed dead tree stump watching this trail. That way we can get Bucky as he goes in or out of the turnip field. Now, I don't know how good y'all can see me right now. You're actually propped up on the mule seat, but hey, that'll work. That'll work. Just gonna get this trail camera lined up, you know, lined up down the hill to where, you know, it's not like looking off, but it's actually looking down the trail. And then we ought to be good to go and golden. And here we go. I got it set up. The red light is blinking, which means it is counting down and that we should get out of here. It's set right there on that tree looking down this path so that if anything comes down this path, it'll get pictures of it. Anything comes up this path, it'll get pictures of it. And hopefully what it is is Bucky. What are you looking for? A tree to put a tree stand on. That's exactly what I was going to tell you about. So here's the turnip field. And Bucky was here last night. And we're looking for a tree to put the tree stand on. There is some trees over there. But they're really, really, really exposed. So what we're thinking is that we really sort of only got maybe two options. One, get a ground blind, which would work. Or two, maybe find a tree up here on the upper side of it. But then again, that's what we're looking for, is a tree. So let's look, I guess. That wasn't dead, it'd work. Is it dead? Yeah, the top of it, just had to get a turnip blind or something. Like the hay bale blind, but for turnips. There goes deer right now. Three, four, five, probably Bucky. They're over there, by the way. Well, at least we know we're in a good spot. Bucky came from over there, like around that hill, and then he walked down the trail a little bit, and then he came down in here. I was thinking maybe we could put like a ground blind maybe right there, but since those deer were over there, maybe we could set one up there on the pond bank. But yeah, guys, don't forget the Breast Cancer Awareness Signature Series. They are right here. You can pick them up, kennelgray1.com slash shop. Also, recently, I released a SSOG in long sleeve version. Sheba likes that. That's almost her favorite. The Breast Cancer shirt and the long sleeve, hey, that'll look good on you. I promise. But me and Sheba's gonna make a deal with you, right, Sheba? Yeah, okay, she's good with it. If this video can get 6,000 likes, 6,000, Sheba, you okay with 6,000? You you good, bro? Okay. 6,000 likes, and I will buy Sheba her very own Breast Cancer Awareness Signature Series shirt and put it on her and make her wear it for a whole video. That sound like a deal, Sheba? Go ahead, shake their hands. 
Okay, she agrees to it. 6,000 likes, guys. Hit the like button. If you're not part of the Gray Gang, go ahead and subscribe by hitting the button on the top right, and feel free to watch some of my past videos on the left. As always, favorite squad, post it up down low. If you want some of this sweet merch, head on over to kennelgray1.com or the link in the description. But besides that, I'll catch you later in tomorrow's video.